All right, Matt, uh, 5130, Statistics for Healthcare Professionals. Uh, I think this is going to be the 10th video. No, I'm sorry, it's the 11th video. So if we go uh, to assignments, okay, okay, let me pump the brakes. The, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate uh, how to navigate data sets and enter answers into StackCrunch. And it could be a little bit tricky. Uh, it's one thing to find the values and, you know, uh, uh, to state them, but another thing is uh, to find them and type them into StackCrunch where you get the, uh, get the, them correct. So uh, that's the purpose of this video. So if I go to assignments and I'm going to the StackCrunch demo, you don't get credit for this. It's going to be worth, I think, three points. So it will show up in the grade book, but at the end of the term, this will actually be deleted. So it will not, I'm going to repeat, will not affect your grade. But um, let's do it. So if I click that, you're going to say I have three questions. And I'm just going to start the assignment. Now, the first question asks us to find the mean, the median, the mode, and the mid-range for the data set that we're given. And so we have these, um, uh, these uh, measurements that apparently list weights of 11 randomly selected uh, players from a roster. So there's an icon right there. And if I click that, then I can open this in StackCrunch. And I can start performing my calculations. Well, the first two that we have to find is, um, and I've demonstrated all this before. Uh, so it looks like we need to find the mean. Uh, we're asked to find the median. Uh, we're asked to find the mode and we're asked to find something called the mid-range. I haven't taught I don't I don't teach the mid-range, but you're going to be asked to find it. So to, to find the mid-range, we need the minimum value and the maximum value. The mid-range is actually the, the small value plus the large value divided by two. So let's compute these. So we can see that the mean, let's go back to the homework, and it says to round to one decimal place. So 235.7. Come down and check answer. Uh, you get uh, unlimited tries of this. Uh, it's, uh, uh, there's, there's no set number of tries. Uh, the median looks like it's 236. I probably can just enter 236, but I'm not going to take the chance because it says to uh, round to one decimal place. <clears throat> so, nice work. That's always good. Uh, find the mode. Uh, it says the mode. There are multiple modes. So in this case, we'll have to eyeball these. So it looks like to me that... Uh, uh, 236 and 236 are repeated, and 261 and 261 are repeated. So I'm going to um, put that in, 236 and 261. In the mid-range, again, I have to take the high number plus the low number. So I'm going to take, I'm just grabbing my calculator because I, I don't want to do that in my head. I could, but I don't want to. So if I add the two numbers together, I get 464. And then if I divide by two, I get 232. Uh, again, round to one decimal point. Let's just see what happens if I just put 232 in. All right, good. So it didn't require me to do one decimal place. I don't think that's going to happen all, uh, every time. So um, let's, uh, I guess at this point we would, um, oh, there's another question. Shoot. Uh, are the results likely to be representative of all players? So let's see, listed below are the pounds of 11 players randomly selected from the roster of a championship team. So I would say the results are uh, not likely because the championship team may not be representative of the entire league.
be kind of like a convenience sample. All right, so here we have some more uh, things, numbers, uh, motor vehicle deaths, uh, find the range, standard deviation, and variance. All right, so uh, I'm going to shut this one down. Open this one in stack crunch. So again, go to stat, go to summary stat, go to column, and work with this variable. So I think I needed the uh, the variance, uh, the standard deviation, uh, and the range. All right, so the standard deviation is 4139.1. No, that's for the range first, my bad. Uh, the range is, uh, what, four 11s and a four? Not four 11s, four ones, goodness. Uh, so this would be deaths. Standard deviation is uh, 4139.1. Remember, standard deviation is in the, the measurement of the, uh, or I'm sorry, the unit of the measurement. Uh, okay, this is. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, round to the nearest whole number. So I'm kind of glad that happened because it uh, shows how sensitive this is. All right. I got sloppy. Uh, round the variance. Uh, so the variance is, um, goodness, I wonder if I can copy that. Just enter it. So let's just do control V. And of course, this is going to be in desk squared because uh, the variance is. I don't know if this will work or not. It did work. Perfect. What important feature of the data is not revealed by the measures of variation? Uh, measure of variation reveal nothing about how the numbers of deaths are spread. That's not a true statement. That's exactly what variation does. The measures of variation reveal no information about the scale of the data. The measure of variation reveal nothing about the pattern over time. Uh, so we have just one year, 2000, so uh, C would be the correct answer. All right, uh, moving into a box plot. Uh, so we need the five number summary. Uh, I guess that's the way you say that, 90 uh, random sample uh, box plot. Okay, so the five number summary, so let's do it. So stat, summary stats, column, variable one, and the five number summary consists of the median, the min, the max, Q1, and Q3. Get over here where I can see it. So the minimum is 121. Q1 is 134. Uh, the median is 146. Q3 is 156.5. I think that's what it wants. If not, we'll just change it. And the max is 146. Okay, more than likely, it wanted me to uh, use ascending type integers or decimals, so maybe 157. Wait a minute, I got that wrong. 
the max is 169. That got it. All right, so we're gonna have to put the Q3 in. Uh, 156.5. I'm just making a mockery of this. All right, that should be the final check. So notice I had a final check. Uh, I don't like looking like a bozo, but I'm kind of glad that did happen because it shows you that you get three attempts per question. And uh, if uh, you don't get it correct, then you can either accept the grade that you get on it or you can uh, uh, try it again. All right, so now we want to get this uh, and uh, create a box plot. And they have created a horizontal box plot, so let's uh, create it because I think it'll be easier to compare. And we can see that, um, you know, we need the box plot to uh, represent the numbers that we have. So um, uh, this lowest number starts about 100. Ours starts at 121. This can't be true. Uh, this starts about 121. Uh, this starts about 100. This can't be true. And this starts about 121. So that could be true. Uh, the median uh, is 146. So that looks... Um, that looks about 146. Uh, that also looks about 146, still uh, plausible. Uh, the highest number is 169. The highest number here is 190, so this can't be true. So by process of elimination, we know that B has to be the correct one, just by comparing the uh, values of the five number summary. All right, so we've done this. Uh, I'm going to save it. Uh, so I have a 100% there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not going to count, but uh, uh, there you go. So I just wanted to demonstrate that. I hope that helped. Uh, that's all I got. Take care.